Um, my name's Wei. So these, so the skin of these objects, there is a, is it made from scratch through this 3D rendering process, or did you? I think you mentioned something about scans of re pre-existing real skin, and yeah. then using that to warp it into an object. Is that how it works? Yeah, I, I just brought those textures from a company that produce those like high resolution textures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, I, I think it's called Texture XYD. They're specialized in capturing human skins in very high resolutions. Wow. So they sell those textures, they sell those like. Oh, they sell it, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, so wow. I just brought them as my material, right? You have the textures and all the channels. So you mm -hmm. bought skin textures from yeah, this yeah. person or company? Company. Okay. What, what do and you they know? just sell it. Why do they scan skin to sell to people? Is it because there's lots of company they use that? I work. Why well, work for the games, right? Think about in the game company, the main character and the you will need those skin texture to have a good like character, believable character. character. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's just. So it's a big can... market, actually, bigger okay. than you thought. Mm, right. And thinking about film, yeah, if you have characters, you need modeling, so you're gonna need those higher resolution textures. Mm. Before that, I already had some experience in China. Then I moved immigrant to Canada. Yeah. Then I started um, BFA at U of A. Why but because I have the experience like in China, then I just like find a work while I'm studying there. I just start doing all the okay. things part time. So the, the, the video game work mm -hmm. came first? Yeah. Okay, very cool. I actually started very good. I work for Epic. I don't know if you know that company. Epic Games? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. In China. So, but in the end, the more I worked, the more I realized, like, this is not what I want to do. I don't want to, like, work for the market. Like, mm -hmm. you always, it's like you're riding the wave. Yeah, that's why when I immigrated to Canada, I decided to start over. Like, I want to explore, All Right. like you said, who you are, right? Yeah. When did you uh, immigrate here? Um, 2010, it's like okay. 10, 13 years ago, yeah. All right, and was, did you, was the main reason for moving um, work-related or was it because you're starting the bachelor program? Uh, no, uh, it's a family decision. Okay, yeah, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah. We have different experiences of being Chinese Canadian, and I think that's something we could uh, really talk about. I think that's really valuable. So I think my parents made like an effort to really assimilate me or have me fully assimilated into quote unquote Canadian culture, whether it's like the language, the interests, um, all that stuff, like mannerisms even. I'm wondering, do you ever think about Ever since coming to Canada, do you feel like in ways you, you're being assimilated? Just even through like, because I know you use a lot of consumerist products in your 3D rendering work, and I wanted to ask you about why that would work, or why why these sort of objects, you know, like the baby bottle, the, the, the stuff from Costco, I really love. Do you feel that ever since you come here, like all of these things you're bombarded by in popular culture is changing who you are? Yeah, I think of course. I will always think you are who you are by those stuff surrounding you, right? You can mm. tell, like, so I, we do, like, went to Costco, it's like our family ritual, we do that uh -huh. every week. You know, everyone's 
identity in contemporary times. Everyone's mm -hmm. identity is completely affected by popular culture, yeah. consumerism, you know, clothes, um, activities you got to pay to do, like um, specific foods you like to eat, everything, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like those work, I, I feel like I'm just trying to be honest, like trying to be like who you are. And, and it's kind uh, of vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. And because I like those like visceral feelings, like make you think um, how you are shaped by our culture, like the culture you live in, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, they're also like self portrait. I will say like in different oh, 100%. means, so you, you can see yourself reflected through those objects. And are you still working, continuing to work with the ideas of the vessel? Mm. Like maybe taking it, are you like taking it away from like bodily presence or perhaps staying with I that? do. I actually, you see those like pictures on the wall, the four images. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those yes. are the works after those like oh. objects. Because I, I'm going back to the idea of the body, yeah. but you can see if you get close, you can see those like patterned Chinese decorative motif on the body. Yeah. And it's more exploring on the psychological sign of like being a woman, sure. like, right? Right. I'm thinking mm -hmm. about like tattoo. Tattoo is such a way like yeah. show your identity, right? Yeah. Do you and have tattoos? No, I don't. <laughs> but the idea, the idea absolutely. is there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely the idea. Yeah, I mean, look at me. I'm covered in tattoos. So yeah, I, yeah. I love tattoos. But for, and... for those, like, tattoos, you saw, like, Chinese, traditional Chinese, like, decorative yeah. patterns, motifs. It's, like, yeah. flowers or fish. Yeah. Even though fish, they carry those meanings, like, prosperity, right? Mm -hmm. Like, different stuff combining right. with, like, different motif the the gift bowl is yeah. more like celebration something like that it's more it's very feminine yeah for yeah. the next group of work and i recently found out that you were a mother so you have kids yeah um how does that affect everything in terms of femininity and your work yeah yeah i think being a mother is definitely like tough mm. but it's also like fun and rewarding, I, I will see that. Do you think that sort of perseverance and tenacity as a mother trans yeah, yeah, translate yeah, into the work? Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's a good word. I think a lot about those words when it comes to Chinese immigrants and mm. their, their, their modes of survival mm. after immigrating into Canada um, and like the sacrifices they make for their children to succeed or quote unquote have those opportunities yeah I see a little bit of motherhood in the work just especially with these like consumers items like just with yeah the skin, you can tell the other right yeah like there's so much vulnerability mm. and tenderness and especially when it comes to yeah children's Advil the baby bottle mm. like grocery shopping at Costco like yeah <laughs> that's fantastic but I want to ask you one last question about the minion why the minion Oh, everybody asking yeah, that. Yeah, I, I mean, like, it's very striking. It was a really popular work. <laughs> I kind of like regret I chose the minion because <laughs> everybody just asks. It draws too much attention. <laughs> yeah, I, I chose the minion be because it's like thinking about popular culture, right? It's oh, like yeah. huge the, in popular culture now. Yeah, it's yeah, weird. kids toys yes. and my desk. Okay. It's just everywhere in our yeah. life. That, that's why I decided, okay, I'm going to take this one because okay. it's a part of our life, our culture as well. Yeah. And I mean, that makes yeah. sense. You being a mother and minions being a big part of children's yeah, movies. And, if yeah. you pay attention, you will see minions like everywhere in Edward. <laughs> oh yeah, it's become such a phenomenon. I graduated from U of A since 2017 and then I worked as an artist, many I make paintings, but recently I'm moving um, towards like working digitally with those digital renderings. Right now, those um, digital works they are 
more drawn on the ideas of uh, consumerism and uh, pop culture, right? About the ideas like um, how I look at myself through the object like I find in my life. I, I were, I'm going back to paintings um, recently and uh, I'm looking for those like, Chinese um, decorative patterns uh, incorporate with like a uh, female nude, I will say the traditional Western subject, right? Nudity. Mm -hmm. And uh, incorporate that with those like traditional Chinese patterns. So to form a hybrid, I will say a hybrid um, things which combines like both the influences from Western and the Eastern. Um, yeah, yeah. And do you think the use of this hybrid form, uh, right? Yeah, hybrid form or identity, do you think that is your sort of method uh, in communicating your own story of uh, or your own experience of being an immigrant? Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's mm, very organic uh, because it's not like one specific thing, right? Everything is going to come as a hybrid forms and uh, they shaping your ideas, your concept into a subtle way. So in the end, the visual stuff is very like, uh, yeah, I will use the words organic to develop, uh, to describe the works I'm working on right now. Yeah. So this project, the Art From Here project, um, just as a platform or a way of community or networking, um, how do you think it impacts the community or uplifts artists um, in Alberta and elsewhere? Yeah, I think it helps a lot. Uh, that, that's the one way, uh, like I said, to, to demonstrate Edmonton is a, has a very good supportive community for emerging artists because of those platform, right? Mm -hmm. Because of those programmings and the, yeah, it definitely provides emerging artists a way like to showcase what you did to to the community and uh, having some feedbacks, right? And uh, also like inspiring you go further. Mm -hmm. I, I think, yeah, that, that's, that's part I really miss, like mm -hmm. what I missed in Edmonton since I moved out, right? It's very supportive, especially yeah. for young and emerging artists. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah.